our tale of the tape professional debut for Chris Brennan's son, just 19 years old. The pro debut, 19. My God, Chris Brennan and I used to be at the Gracie Academy together, and now his son is fighting here in Bellator. I am too old. Yes, Michael. indeed you are. There's Michael C. Ladies and gentlemen, from Windstar World Casino and Resort, our final fight of the evening, three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. Introducing the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 145.3 pounds, his professional record one and four. He fights out of Sherman, Texas, Thomas Jalapeno Lopez. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot ten, weighing in 145.4 pounds. Tonight, making his professional debut, he fights out of Frisco, Texas, Lucas Skywalker. And the referee in charge of the action, Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog, our referee for our final fight of the night. Featherweight matchup, Lopez and Brennan. Skywalker, the son of the West Side Strangler. Chris now, buddy, Brennan, 21 buddy, career buddy. wins, 19 by submission. We are underway. Red gloves for Lucas Brennan, blue gloves for Thomas Lopez. There's one area that Lucas Brennan definitely has an advantage. It is on the ground in this matchup. His jiu-jitsu is outstanding. And I know that he's under a lot of pressure here tonight with his pro debut. But I can just imagine the pressure that his father, Chris, is under right, right now watching this. Earned his black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu at age 18. Oh, that was so long ago. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, like almost a year ago. Younger brother in the Brennan family, eight-time Jiu-Jitsu World Champ, U.S. Wrestling National Champ, and Jiu-Jitsu Brown Belt, Tyler Brennan. So dad's got some good lineage going. And Chris Brennan, back in the olden days, trained under Marco Huas. And of course, you talked about your time in the Gracie system with Chris. They tangle early. This is exactly where Lucas is dangerous on top. He's got a very, very good jiu-jitsu game. He goes after submissions very well, transitions well. Everything that he does is smooth. So now in MMA, we'll see if that striking opens up those submissions for him against Thomas Lopez. Good spot for Lucas Brennan, side control. Keeping Lopez away from the fence. Good cage control here. And you can see, look at that knee ride in the belly. He's right to the back, he's got his hook. Just beautiful transition. Now he's got Lopez exactly where he wants him. He can damage Lopez. Lopez cannot damage him. Goes to the body triangle. This is what we call systematic fighting. That's his. There's his dad right there, looking on, giving, shouting instructions. But he knows right now. Make sure you're oh, my boy is in a good Make position. Sure I'm feeling breathing. good. Well, breathe, Lucas talked breathe. about the karma. Selling him to free. <laughs> That's well, the kind of thing a dad says right? at this yeah. time. Halfway, halfway. Well, karma fighting here, John. Halfway. Having his first fight hey, at the same location that his guy. father had his last professional fight here in the Windstar World Casino and Resort. Yeah. Hey, don't kill Chris your with a Kimura win back in June of 2000. To hide that elbow if he can, that choke will work, especially if he utilizes his hips like he's starting to do right there. Stretching him out. Yeah. Hit is all over. Just like that, Lucas Brennan. Michael C. Williams, one last time, will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap.
by way of a rear naked choke officially. Three minutes, two seconds round, number one by submission. He starts off as an undefeated professional, Lucas Skywalker!